The deployment of rapid testing will vastly accelerate our ability to monitor, track, contain, and ultimately defeat the virus. We will defeat the virus. It will also allow us to test doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers immediately. Breaking news tonight from the White House. The president is extending national social distancing guidelines through April 30th. This just announced by President Trump at a task force briefing in the Rose Garden. I'm Jack Royer. This Sunday night, it comes as the coronavirus continues to spread across the country with more than 137,000 reported cases and over 2,000 deaths. And it comes as the initial 15 days to slow the spread was coming to a close. President Trump saying moments ago that this new normal could last into June. This week marks the end of the White House's 15-day initiative to slow the spread of coronavirus. President Trump, who said last week he would like to see the country open by Easter, tweeted on Sunday, quote, we're breaking all records, especially on employment. It will all come roaring back again and fast. But Dr. Anthony Fauci said the U.S. could eventually see millions of cases and between 100,000 and 200,000 deaths. We got a serious problem in New York. We have a serious problem in New Orleans, and we're going to be developing serious problems in other areas. I know. Rhode Island's governor amended a controversial executive order requiring travelers from New York to self-quarantine for 14 days. It now says any person from another state. I don't believe it was legal. I don't believe it was neighborly. Late Saturday, the CDC issued a travel advisory for the New York region after President Trump said he would not be announcing a quarantine for that state, New Jersey, and parts of Connecticut. He spoke to the task force, he spoke to the governors, and he was comfortable that people would take this advisory very seriously. Louisiana has more than 100 reported deaths so far. Governor John Bell Edwards says his state is competing with others to get more ventilators from the federal government. We believe that by about April the 4th or so in the New Orleans area, uh, we will exceed our capacity. In Maryland, authorities are struggling with an outbreak at a nursing home with at least 66 confirmed cases and one death. We generally found that the, uh, the facility was doing most everything they were supposed to be doing. And in Detroit, where cases are growing rapidly, the June auto show has been canceled. Instead, the venue is being converted into a field hospital.